this is a general reading for Cancer for June 2020. So hello Cancer and welcome. But before we begin with your reading, we need to consult the oracle. So let's see what words of wisdom the oracle has to impart to you Cancer for your general reading for June 2020. Remember, as a general reading, it may or may not resonate with all of you, but just take what does and leave the rest behind. These don't fan very well. This is the... Um, and the spirit animal oracle that we're using today. So I'm just going to choose three cards for a general reading. You have hawk spirit. Let spirit be your guide. And Ant Spirit, time to collaborate. And Dolphin Spirit, this and that are true. So this is, uh, the dolphin um, is a mammal, an air-breathing creature, but he lives in the water. And that's where um, the oracle gets the this and that. He's, you know, two worlds, a bit of this and a bit of that. And when I look at him today, I'm just reminded of the playfulness of dolphins. So it seems a bit of lightheartedness coming into your life. A bit of flexibility is needed, perhaps. And the hawk spirit says, higher forces, spirit is with you, your angels, your guides, and listen to their wisdom look for signs get a you know as you know the hawk flies high above the the world and looks down he has a very good perspective so he's He's not, um, he can see the bigger picture. He's not too focused on small things. He's not, he's, his sight isn't cluttered by a lot of nonsense. He rises above it all and gets a view of the map below him, a bigger picture. And Ant Spirit, well, we know how ants are a collective community. They all work together. They all work in harmony for the greater good. So you have the end spirit urging you to work in communion with, with people around you. You have the dolphin spirit requiring some degree of flexibility and it always you always that is needed when you're working in a group. And the hawk spirit let the spirits be your guide as you get the bigger picture. Now let's see what's on the cards for you, Cancer. What's on the cards for Cancer for June oops, 2020? We'll keep that as our central card. What's on the cards for Cancer for June? All those Cancerians out there, what's on the cards for them? I had the deck upside down, so you've got the three of ones. And the devil and judgment. Yeah. 
that's where you are now. The Page of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords depicts what's brought you here. I'm going to have to move this over a wee bit. Your challenge is the Tower and the Two of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles, King Knight of Swords, and then you have the Hermit and you have the Queen of Swords. And at the bottom of the deck you have the Five of Wands. Just hold it for now. <coughs> So it seems you've been, you've started an endeavour, a project, and um, yeah, I think, you, you know, you're just starting up something um, which had seemingly opportunities for, uh, for growth, fruition, value insecurity but you weren't able to move it forward because something was tying you down I wonder if it was the coronavirus um, restrictions anyway so something's been tying something's held you back um, and you've not been able to move this forward and that's reiterated in the devil, the chains. Uh, so here you have the pers the character tied um, and surrounded by swords. Although if you look very carefully, there is a way out. She's just not seeing it. Um, her, her vision isn't clear. She's not getting a good perspective on the whole thing. And that's where the hawk spirit is. Is speaking to you you need to change your perspective see the bigger picture and the devil speaks of um, instability and insecurity and um, that in both of these pictures the chains or ties that bind are more easy to loosen than you realize if you look carefully at the devil card, the chains around the man and woman are actually very loose. And the implication is that within you, the answer to, to um, free yourself of this, the, the answer to free yourself of this lies within you. It's you the one who can do the devil essentially is an illusion his power over you is an illusion his hold on you is um, or can be can dissipate if you um, refuse to play the game um, the moment you um, the moment you refuse to to cooperate with this um, bondage is the moment that the ties are released. And then you will be able to begin to progress this um, idea, this beginning. And you had the Three of Wands um, speaks of growth, development, taking plans and actions forward because you've been called because this is this idea this whole endeavor that you you feel you've been unable to move forward was something from above some something from divine energy has been it was presented to you and um, it's up to you to take it forward the, these are your challenges the tower um, again this you know 
instability to, to actually your challenge is to move it forward and to continue with your idea despite the disruption um, and despite the the chaos the catastrophic interruption that you've experienced in this you know once the thing with the tower is it's it's a frightening moment but you, with storms that can be violent and very changing the flood waters the raging waters the the, the storm the storm and the waters wash away the the dust and the debris and the things we no longer need. It clears the environment away for new growth and new beginnings. And you also need to to get a sense of balance, um, to jug to juggle things. And um, this may be like, you know, Peter, robbing Peter to pay Paul. Um, so that's part of your challenge is, is maintaining a financial or a um, material stability through all this. And here's all the stormy waters. Um, so that tower, you know, it's almost that picture is almost continuing on from the tower. Um, and it, the two of pentacles remind you that, you know, despite the chaos that may be around you, despite the imbalance and turbulence around you, you are on solid ground here. So that's your challenge is to um, maintain a, a sense of balance through all this. And that can come with working with people and there's your ant spirit time to collaborate um, the three of pentacles depicts pulling in um, advice resources help from those around you this is a figure who's um, constructing something in you know this this building and um, he has consulted his colleagues and they're advising him. And they're, in a sense, all working together, focusing and moving things forward. So that's your second three, which is about focus and progression. And the Knight of Swords, this is an energy of swift action, of rushing in, um, perhaps un with little preparation, but um, I think it's in this particular reading, it's urging you, the energy of this card is urging you to just go with it, just move it forward um, with um, assured deliberation that, you know, it, it was a good idea, it was a, a good venture to progress with. Sometimes especially when things feel unstable around us, you have to trust that um, it's going to work out. You have to have some degree of faith in your ideas and in your abilities and just go with it. In a sense, it's like the dolphin, you know, the speed that dolphins um, can swim at. So we'll put the dolphin there for now, although he may come in a little later as well. So just showing you how the um, oracle work spreads, mixes in with the tarot spread. So your outcome, um, yeah, so even though this may feel a bit precarious, the Queen of Swords shows that you will get your head around it, you'll have your head above the clouds, um, you'd have mastered it. Um, the, your your plan, um, your actions, and um, with you would have mastered it with discipline, and, and there's your discipline in juggling. You know, getting a sense of balance, with mastering it with discipline, and um, headology. The Queen of Swords, you know, she's she's wise. 
um, she's knowledgeable, she has, she has suffered some degree of loss and um, she's come through it with her determination, her strength of character and her discipline. Yeah, and she keeps her head above the clouds, so that's a good omen. Look, there's your hawk. I don't know if you can see in the picture, but there's a little hawk above her. And the hermit shows us that there's going to be, through all this, it's going to move you on on a more spiritual level. Um, there's going to be some degree of soul-seeking. Um, even though you be work, you'll be working with... Um, comrades or community you will take time after the you know you'll take time to um, go within yourself a bit get a bit of me time a bit of quiet time and pursue personal development um, because you know this this road you're on is is fraught with a bit of competition, a bit of instability, a bit of rivalry here. But with the end spirit, you know, urging you to really um, work with with your group, and the dolphin spirit, and reminding you that flexibility is often required and. And will flexibility will move things on speedily. You will um, attain um, you will attain your goal. And it, in by attaining that goal, you'd have you'd have grown um, spiritually. You would have grown emotionally and be wiser for the whole experience. So it looks like there's a lot of hard work for you in June, Cancer. And um, a favourable outcome, uh, even though, you know, you may be at the end of it, you may be feeling quite serious. The, the Queen of Swords isn't your jolly ha-ha type of um, figure. But um, you will get there, and you'll be wiser for it. So, Cancer, that is your reading for June. I hope you enjoyed it, and God bless you till we meet again.